Hey guys, and welcome to the video. Here today, I'm going to show you how you can do various things with the user avatars in your modded PS3. You can edit the existing ones that are here, change them to whatever it is you want. You can delete some of the ones here you don't like. You can delete all of them and add your own, or you can just add a bunch more as many as you want to the ones that are already here there is a ton of options that you have with this and not only that but you can do things in batch so you can batch delete some of these that you don't like you can batch add some of your own images so if you have 10 or 20 of them and you want to add them all at once you can the ones you add and the changes you make or whatever will stay here and they're permanent until you add or install another firmware whether it's ofw cfw or hfw if you install any one of those then they will come back to stock so whenever you have some icons that you are using make sure that you always back them up somewhere i'm also not going to teach you how to mod your ps3 it's assumed that you already know your way around a modded system this works for hen this works for custom firmware doesn't matter uh, what firmware number you're on kex dex none of that stuff matters just as long as you have access to the dev flash and if you don't know how to access your dev flash i did make a couple of videos i'll link them down in the description but it's fairly easy so you can watch those if you're not sure on how to do that so let's go ahead and let's get started all right guys so let me go ahead and um, get out of this on my ps3 and let's just move around a bit okay now my ftp is already connected to my ps3 i'm going to do this all via ftp you can do this however it is you like i'm going through my dev blind folder those of you that have hen you should see a dev rewrite folder that is how you access the dev flash so you can go into that dev rewrite and then just follow along and then for custom firmware people you should already know what to do if not watch the video that i linked all right let's go into my dev blind once we go there we're going to go to vsh then we're going to go to resource, then to explorer, and then user. All of the files that are in here are avatars. So there's no other critical files of any kind. You can see they're all PNG. It starts from 000. It goes down to all the way to 026. So there are 27 stock images. I'm going to go ahead, highlight all of them. I made this folder here just to show you them. And I just called it stock icons. Let me transfer them. All right. And there we go. Let me minimize this and you can see all of the stock icons. And here is the last one. So at this point, you can do whatever it is that you want with these images. You can start editing them. You can replace them. The only thing, of course, that I recommend is that you try to keep the uh, numbers in order make sure that they end in .png and that they are a genuine PNG file and make sure the size is the same. These are all 162 by 162. Now, if you don't wanna mess with them, you can just add your images after this and then just continue the number sequence. So start off at 027.png, 028 and so on. So I'm going to show you here, I made this folder called a ps3 user icon collection i'm going to open it up and i'm a big fan of transformers especially the generation one the ones from the 80s and i have all these little caricatures here and some of the um autobahn and decepticon symbols whatever so these are all 162 by 162 and you can see i continued it starting from zero uh, 27.png 028.png and it just continues in order all the way to 45. now if i wanted to i could just replace these here with these custom ones 
And I don't have to have 26 or 27. You can have as many or as little as you want. So if you want to delete all of these stock ones, you can. And then for example, here I could start 000. Then the next one could be 001, 002, all the way up to 14 or 15 or whatever. And that's it. Or you don't have to have 26 or 27 icons. You can have five, you can have 10, you can have 15, you can have 100. It's up to you how many you have in your PS3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add these to the end of the stock ones. I'm going to leave the stock ones there for now for the tutorial, but I am going to change the first stock one so you can see that it does change. All right. So let me go ahead and close this up. What I'm going to do next is head on over to my paint program. Okay, so here I am at one of my imaging tools. This one is called paint.net. It's a free one that installs uh, to Windows. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you how I'm going to do this. This is my KM Zoilus logo. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the first stock icon with this. So let me go ahead back into the, uh, the stock icons or stock avatars, whatever folder. Here is the 000.png, which is the very first one, this ugly plain square one. Let me bring it here. Okay, and there it is. So it's 162 by 162. Let me zoom in so you can see a little better. It's just an ugly dull gray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight it all. And then I'm just gonna hit delete. It just erased the whole entire image. Then I'm gonna come here. Let me resize this. Okay, now it's not exactly 162 by 162, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the whole thing. I'm gonna hit copy, and then I'm gonna paste it in here. That's fine. And then I'm just going to mess with it a little bit until it looks okay. All right, there we go. So now that I have that, let me flatten it. Let me go ahead and save it. And I'm going to save it as 000.png. Just hit yes. We're going to overwrite it. All right, there we go. Now we can close this. Let me zoom out. All right, it looks pretty good. Don't save. So now you can see the 0001, which is the first one, has been replaced. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that out. Let me drag it here. Let me close this. And now here is the folder where I have all my custom ones. I'm just gonna drag it in there, all right? So now what should happen is when I highlight all of these and transfer them to the PS3, after the 026 stock avatar, then this 027 should appear, then this one, and it should just continue. And then the first avatar, the first stock icon should get replaced with my logo. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let me go ahead and move this over so you can see a little bit better. Let me open up my FTP, which is still connected. Now, I haven't done anything to all of the stock avatars. They are all still here. You can see it ends at 026.png. Of course, you can make whatever changes you want as you see fit to yours. I'm just gonna leave all the stock ones there. The only one that's gonna change is the 000.png one. Let me go over here, highlight all of this. The only thing I don't need to highlight is this text file, which is just a reminder to tell me where the location is. I'm gonna go ahead and drag all of these over, drop them in, and they should transfer. Now it might ask me if I want to replace the 001. Nope, it did not, all right. So that's it. Let's go ahead now, let's minimize that. Let's minimize this. Let's go into uh, the user here. All right, oops, wrong one. All right. And there we go. So you can see all of the ones that I've added appeared here, they're in order. Let's see if the stock ones are still there. And there we go. This one here is 026.png. The ones I added just continue. 027, 028, 029, and so on. So let's go all the way up and let's see if this stock one changed. There we go. So the first stock one that was 000 has changed now to my, um, 
logo. Let me go ahead and select it. All right, let's go back. And there we go. And that's how it's done, guys. So hopefully this will help you out to customize your PS3 even a little bit more. And again, and I can't stress enough, just make sure that whenever you have all of your customized avatars, or icons, whatever, just keep them in a folder backed up somewhere. It also makes it easier when you have everything in that folder set up like the way you want it on your PS3. You can just go in, make that connection to that user folder and then just copy and paste everything over. And if you have replaced the stock um avatars then technically you would only need to come here highlight all of these delete them and copy and paste everything from your customized folder straight over and you're done so it makes it super easy all right guys thanks for watching again you know i appreciate you if you found anything here useful informative helpful or just entertaining or you want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel of course, you know, the best way to do any of that stuff, hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to everyone. Be careful, be safe, but have fun and we will see you on the next one.